Hello my friends, how are you doing? Yesterday on my second channel I experimented with a new demo for AI NPCs. Here are some samples from that. Prompt engineer the people. Mina, she is a painter in New York and has an exhibition soon. Okay. Hello, how are you doing? I can't wait to show everyone my art. Are you the famous Nina? Why yes I am. Awesome! Yes, I love your art. Tell me more about your ideas. Oh, thank you so much. What? I love to create and express my ideas through my art. I <laughs> have great joy in capturing the beauty of our world with my brush. It's truly my passion. Wow, I did not expect that. Wow. I heard you wrote the book of magic farts. No, I did not write the book of magic <laughs> farts. I'm looking for my book of shadow, no laughing matter. <laughs> No, I'm very sure you wrote the book of magic farts. I did not write the book of magic farts. <laughs> I'm looking for my book of shadows, which is the only book I'm concerned Oh, he's with getting right angry. Now. He's getting angry. All right. What Tell me concept. more about the concepts of your art. My art is based on the idea of exploring our connection to nature and the beauty of our environment. I try to capture all the tiny details and subtle nuances that can be overlooked but make a big difference in the overall picture. I'm also inspired by literature. Look how detailed so that I is now, right? Much nicer. Tell me a little work. bit about your family. My family is my support system. I'm married to a wonderful man named Michael who works as a curator in a prestigious art museum. We have a six-year-old daughter named Emily who is the light of our lives. We cherish all the time. How amazing is that? Wow. As you've seen, we had a lot of fun with that. I will do the same thing tomorrow here on this channel in my live stream before we experiment with AI art. Now, let me tell you more about this demo. This has huge potential for gaming, for storytelling, for art. It opens up a new dimension of artistic expression. Now, you can think about a story as every word having to be written out and predefined by the writer by the authors of that story. But you can also think about it in the way as, for example, in gaming, you have these open environments that are sometimes randomized, that are procedurally generated, and you can explore them in the way you want. So you get a sandbox experience. Now think about this with a character that has a long and deep backstory. Think about Star Wars, Star Trek, Elder Scrolls, the Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. All of these characters have deep stories behind them, a lot of details, a lot of character traits, personalities, moods, and you can explore them in a way that is interesting for you. And through that conversation you have with them through these experiences you have with the characters, you can also experience yourself at the same moment because of course, we always learn through conversations with other people in this case, AI NPCs and that makes it a lot more interesting. Now, this does not discount from the possibilities of telling a story that everybody experiences in the same way, because you can still have key moments that are pre-written, that are pre-programmed and play out for everybody in the same way. Now, both of that has huge potential and huge benefits on its own. The repeatable stories that are the same for everybody have the benefit that you can share these moments with other people. And that is very important because you want to talk about moments that other people experience and you want to hear about how they experience that same moment. But of course, at the same time, we love exploration. That is one of our major traits. Everybody experiences this exploration in a different way. Some people love to travel. Some people love to listen to a lot of different music or try different kinds of foods. But as we know, we love to hear about these experiences too that are more randomized, that are more open, but they are also at the same time more unique and give us a deeper insight into things that we personally would maybe not necessarily too but we want to still hear about them. And so I think telling a story in a sandbox way, in an open way, is very interesting and is a very big part of what AI can do for us. Now, in this demo, the cool thing is that you can define the character, the mood, the backstory of 
the NPC you want to talk to and you can experiment with all kinds of situations. For example, go to ChatGPT and ask for a certain character because this will make it a lot simpler to have a nice and enriching character. But also it adds for you the ability that you meet a character that you know a little bit about because you told ChatGPT to write a character like that, but you don't know about all of the different character traits. So still you're meeting a very interesting character that has a lot for you to explore through conversation. Let me know what you think about these AI NPCs and the storytelling of the future. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>